Hi right, guys, it's Jason Simmons of Cockney Cook and we're into September, so we're coming to the end of summer. As you can see, the weather's still nice, but a lot of the heat's gone out of it. And I've got quite a bit of basil left in my garden and I'm going to make a fantastic fresh pesto out of all this basil. I'm going to show you how to do it. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe and keep watching. This is how you make fresh pesto. Okay guys, let's crack on. Now first of all, pick your beautiful fresh basil leaves. They've had a lovely summer this year, so my basil's thrived in the garden. And there we go, we've got a nice big bunch of basil. We're gonna weigh this later, but for the minute, what we need to do is give it a good old wash. Make sure we've got no bugs and anything in there. And have a look, see if you've got any black leaves or leaves that aren't quite up to scratch and discard them. And what we're looking for, we're looking for nice, healthy basil leaves to look like that. Perfect. Right, once you've done that, take all your basil leaves off the stalks, discard the stalks, and we should have a nice big pile of fresh basil leaves. At this point, we need to weigh them. Now, this is really important because what we're going to do is we're going to use equal amounts of basil leaves to pine nuts to parmesan cheese. Now I had 100 grams of basil leaves. So I used 100 grams of pine nuts and 100 grams of Parmesan cheese. There we go, nice slow-mo shot for you. Now as you saw, I've put all my basil leaves in the blender and you wanna put your pine nuts in there and then weigh out your cheese. cheese in your blender as well. Happy days. Now at this point, get yourself a nice fat garlic clove, pop that in, close the lid, give everything a good old blitz. Make sure it's all combined well. We have a few leaves at the top, wait till they go down. Lovely. Now at this point, we're gonna add our olive oil and the ratio is two tablespoons of extra, olive, extra virgin olive oil for every 25 grams of basil leaves. And give it a season and blitz everything together. And really, it's as simple as that. I've used a nice container there, pop it in a container or a jar, Cover it with a bit of oil and you can keep that in the fridge. 